A question I get a lot when I teach delegates, especially when I show a simple example like this, is why not just call foo directly? You're making this delegate reference that references foo and then you invoke it. Why don't you just replace all this with a foo? It seems pointless to do all that extra work. And that's a valid question. In this uh, situation, this, this contrived example, if you would, this is pretty much useless. Uh, the thing about these delegates is that they allow us to parameterize code. If I make a static int square method that takes a x here and let's just return x times x like so well the reason we'd want this to be parameterized is I can pass any value here I can pass 5 I can pass 20 I can pass 13 doesn't matter it's parameterized and then I can square any any value just by passing it in that's this this is the part that flexes it's the part that changes well code allows us or not code delegates allow us to pass code here to parameterize our code in a way. So instead of just parameterizing integer values or string values or maybe even class types, now I can pass code, or at least a reference to some code, because that's what delegates are. They're references off to some code. In this case, I'm referencing foo. Okay, so let me give you a, an example that, that will hopefully add some more motivation to why delegates are good. Um, I'm gonna, let's just delete all this for now, and I'm gonna make a, a function here, static, uh, I enumerable, enumerable int, uh, get all numbers less than five. That's a pretty lengthy method name, but we'll roll with it. Uh, I enumerable int numbers, and here we're we're gonna say uh, for each int number in numbers if number less than we said less than five yield return number all right so now I can I can uh, prove that this works I can say um, uh, do I enumerable int result gets get all numbers less than five let me zoom out get us some screen real estate here. Hopefully you have it tuned up to HD. So you can see all this. Get all numbers less than five. New array and I'm just gonna start pounding my keyboard here randomly. That should be good. Okay. Get all numbers less than five. And then that's for each over the uh, the result. And print N. So hopefully this isn't this isn't too new to you. If you're not familiar with the for each or the yield, go look at the videos on that. And here I have implicitly typed array. To go go watch the videos for that if you're not up to snuff as to what these constructs are doing. But basically, get numbers less than five basically runs through every number, and if the number's less than five, then it yields it. Okay, so it looks like two is less than five, three is less than five, and one's less than five. So the rest of these should be eliminated. There we go. Two, three, one. Very good. Well, what if I need a version of this uh, method here that uh, does less than 10 as well? Well, of course, the unintelligent thing would be to copy and paste this and uh, change this to a 10. And then now I have get all numbers less than 10. And then hopefully you're starting to see if I want to do like 10 and then 13 and 20. And I mean, this would this could get very pain, painful very quickly. But you notice the only thing I changed between these two copy and paste are the 5 and the 10. Okay, oops. Alright, I could also, also do, what if I want to do this? I could say, let's make yet another copy paste. Get all numbers greater than 13. Okay, so now I have to say, well, if number is greater than 13. So, yeah, before the only difference was this 5 and this 10. So I could have passed like a, you know, int value and then replace this 10 with this value but now on this on this third one here I, I've changed this whole expression this this less than went to a greater than and the 10 went to a 13 so I'm I'm changing this code here all right I need to parameterize this code and this is a perfect place for delegates to do this so so this is what we're gonna do instead get all numbers less than five numbers and uh, we need a delegate that can do this. So it looks like the delegate needs to take needs to take the number to do the comparison against, and then it should return 
a boolean. So, so me delegate. Let's take the number int n, and it needs to return a boolean, a boolean expression. Okay, and then get all numbers less than five. We want to take what I call it, me delegate. So me delegate. I'm going to call it the gauntlet. All right. Basically, if we send a number through the gauntlet and and it comes out, then we'll yield return it. So let's just watch this. This is the part we're parameterizing here. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to say, okay, gauntlet the number. Run the number through the gauntlet. And if the gauntlet returns true, then yield that number. Okay, so now I don't need all these copy and paste versions down here. I can delete all them because I'm, I, I've parameterized or uh, I've allowed this to be flexible, what I pass here. So let's have a little fun with this. First of all, we need some some uh, some methods. So static bool less than 5 int n return n less than 5. All right, I'm still going to do a little copy and paste here, and it's going to be painful, but, but I'll show you some better ways to get around this. Less than 5. I think we did less than 10, didn't we? So now I change this to a 10, and then greater than 13. Uh, greater than 13. All right, so n greater than 13. Okay, so get all numbers less than 5. Well, we need to rename this. We need to name it something more intuitive now because it's not less than five it's kind of anything so um, run numbers through gauntlet that's what we'll call it run the numbers through the gauntlet all right so I want these numbers in fact I'm gonna bring this out just to make it a little bit more readable I'm gonna say enter a numbers put those right there and I'm gonna say run the numbers through the gauntlet and here's the numbers and the gauntlet we want to go through is less than 10. All right, let's do that one first. Okay, so it looks like we need some numbers that are bigger than than 10 just to make this more interesting. Uh, let's do 17. Okay, very good. So let's, let's, here we go. And it'd be good for you to type all this up and actually trace through it with the debugger, kind of see what's going on. But here we go, less than 10. Drum roll, please. Here's all the numbers. Less than 10, they, they survived the gauntlet. All right, but watch, I can parameterize this, or I have parameterized it, so thus I can change it. Let's go less than 5. Okay, I'm pressing key 2, 3, 1. All right, in fact, I'm going to trace through this a little bit. Let's just less than 5. Run F10, F10, run through the gauntlet for each. Okay, so here we come, for each, int number. The first number da -da -da -da, is 2. So 2, we're going to pass 2 to the gauntlet, which is our delegate. So here's 2. Now remember, our delegate is referencing less than 5. So here we go, f11. So n comes down here, or 2. 2 less than 5. Is that true or false? 2 less than 5? That's true. So this, this gauntlet invocation returned true, hence we yield the number. Okay? And then we right line the number. And then we go in, let's do the next one. What's the next number? It's going to be 7. So gauntlet on 7, f11. Well, 7 is not less than 5. That's false. So then. It'll skip that and go to the next one. The next one is is three. Is three? Put three into the gauntlet here. Three less than five. Yep, that's true. Okay. So yield that one and so on and so forth. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, we still had to do a little bit of copy and paste here, but there's better ways around this. I'll show in a future video. But that's kind of nice. We just parameterize the condition here, so I don't have to copy and paste this whole method over and over and over again.